Hi there. Probably looking at my last animation video for tonight. I'm hoping you get to watch these. I make a lot of horror videos, so I just want to get something for the uh, kids and the kids and all of us there. And this is probably, out of all the cartoons that uh, I'm doing, this is probably one of the ones that a lot of us remember and grew up with. Because it uh, spans so many years. And these are the uh, Super Friends uh, and uh, DC related cartoons. At least the early stuff I'm going to go into right now. And the first one, of course, is Super Friends, Volume 1. Uh, there's some great stuff on this. Uh, of course, there's uh, some commentary, uh, a little uh, retrospective on here as well. And uh, this is a uh, two-disc set. I think this is Challenge of Super Friends, by the way, in case you're wondering what series you're looking at here. So, uh, yeah, and they would get very different in the series as they went through. Challenge was one of my... Uh, well then, like the drawings, but that was one of the better shows. Uh, there was just some different stuff in between, in there, and some of them we actually got uh, had some pretty dark episodes, and we'll be getting to those. Uh, but a uh, challenge of the Super Friends first season, which is actually I think the only season for challenge of the Super Friends, because it's not that the challenge didn't do well; it's that uh, they kept on rolling out if different Super Friends show after different Super Friends show, mixing it up a bit putting in old cartoons with new cartoons. And uh, let's read it to uh, Super Friends Volume 2. Uh, now, uh, this one here, honestly, a lot of these are kind of a blur to me when I put them together, but this one is, this I think is the one that had Dracula, yeah, in one of the uh, cartoons there. And this one's pretty much a Monster of the Week type one. This is a Super Friends series here. Uh, didn't really go too much, I don't think, on the uh, villains. And uh, I think that this one here, you're going to see just a couple of the villains, actually. Maybe even, like, just one. I, I think it's Mix It, Mix it Pedalec is the one, the only villains that appears in this uh, box that here. The, uh, you know, the big villains that you would normally assume with the series. Super Friends. Uh, later uh, shows would have uh, more of the uh, standard uh, Legion of Doom villains. Uh, Challenge of Super Friends, for instance, there's, uh, that's Brainiac, Lex Luthor, Cheetah, characters like that. This would be more of a, of the standard, uh, villain, uh, generic villain of the week type thing. But it is, don't write it off, it is a really good show, it's really fun to watch. Uh, some of it is cheesy compared to the more dramatic, uh, animated superhero shows of today. And this is a fun little one called The Super Friends, The Lost Episodes. This had a lot of cool stuff in it. Uh, this is where you got some of the guys like El Dorado uh, and some of the other characters that would become more uh, prominent. They kind of wanted to make it, ra uh, yeah, well, well, racially diverse, make it a more diverse uh, uh, hero. So I'm like, you know, applaud them for that. Uh, but I wish they'd taken more time to flesh out the characters. Uh, of course, the Wonder Twins are in this one, in the earliest one of the Super Friends, and I. I think I got it. I'm not sure if I got it here or not. But it has, uh, doesn't have this, the Wonder Twins. It actually has the, uh, the two kids and the dog from the original, uh, Super Friends series, which I really, really like, actually. And here we get another one with the, uh, the Wonder Twins and Kalika on it, of course. Uh, and that's Super Friends, all new Super Friends Hour. There's some really cool stuff on this, uh, Origins of Guest Stars, uh, Spotlight on Hawkman, Hawk Girl, the Atom, and Green Lantern. Uh, again, there's a lot of really great stuff on this one. There's a second one that I managed to get to, which is the Wonder Twins Phenomena. Phenomena. Really. The Wonder Twins. DC Wish, the Wonder Twins, could have been a phenomenon. Anyway. Now we're getting into the really, like, well-done series. Like, these are fun. But ones that are actually, uh, seems, there's more to them. There's more depth to the stories. So, uh, they're starting to change, and they're starting to grow at the times, and get more in, in like, the comics and such. And that would start with the Super Friends, the legendary superpowers. And, uh, with this one here, you got guys like Darkseid, you got Luther, Brainiac, 
Mr. Mixapedelic, and uh, got into like the main villains, so guys like Batman, Robin, or heroes, Batman, Robin, Wonder Woman, Superman, and like to get like the uh, younger like, teen audience really into it. He had Firestone, Nuclear Man, and that was like a really cool character that I like. And this one brought a uh, Batman, the original Batman, Adam West, and uh, Casey Kasem, I think, as Robin, in uh, this series here as well. There's some great uh, stuff on this one as well. Talk about the trying to get cultural diversity uh, in the series, and uh, talk about the collection. That one thing that I really like. I'm a toy collector as well, by the way. And they have a uh, superpowers collection, the effect of the toy industry on super friends, and. Uh, that is a really interesting uh, feature. Probably the the best Super Friends show that did come out, and it was unfortunately the last one that did come out, and uh, a short-lived series, and that would be the Superpowers team, Galactic Guardians. And it's really fun. You got Cyborg, Firestorm, Superman, Batman, Rob, Wonder Woman. So basically, the guys that you got in the New Fifty Two series, pretty much. Uh, started right here. The animation is pretty great. Scarecrow, Luther, Penguin, Joker, Mixapedelic, uh, Frank Welker as uh, Darkseid, Welker you would know as uh, Optimus Prime and Transformers. And the uh, the retrospective on this series, I gotta say I love this series. Um, three more DC ones that I recommend you pick up. They had some, it's got some really fun stuff in them. And the first one is one of my favorites. Uh, I've always been a fan of this quirky character. It's really fun, and it's Plastic Man. Uh, the complete collection. It's not totally the complete collection because there was another Plastic Man, kind of a plastic family with Plastic Baby and stuff like that. But this is pretty complete as far as like the Plastic Man cartoons themselves go. It is really fun. Uh, villains are funny and cheesy and Plastic Man is kind of like a he's not your average superhero he's kind of out there there was a Plastic Man series that was going to be done I think in the late 80s it was in the 90s maybe and uh and the guy that did uh Ren and Stimpy I think John Caracas is that how you pronounce it anyway he did a pilot episode for a a new Plastic Man series and man was a Freaking awesome. And it's included on this here, by the way. Mind bending Plastic Man animated series. I know you're part of the episode. And yeah, it's mind bending. It's awesome. It should have been a series. It would have been one of those cult ones that you uh, hear about years down the road. You definitely worth picking up. Girlfriend's a marine biologist by, by a degree. And uh, one of her favorite shows, cartoon characters. That's actually gotten kick ass now was Aquaman. So, pretty much a no brainer that I had. I was going to go out and pick up the Aquaman cartoon series. It's a fun little series. I wish Aquaman had kind of gotten the respect early on that he deserved. I'm not sure uh, how many there are fans of the character, but Aquaman was the first character to have really serious shit happen to him in his life. Uh, Aquaman's baby is murdered. Uh, not in this cartoon series here, but in the comic book. And, uh,. He's like the first kind of darker superhero. These, of course, are very light, very fun cartoons. Uh, got Aquaman, his aquatic friends, Tusky the Walrus, and Storm Nymph the Seahorses, and pretty generic characters. Though you do get some Black Manta in there as well, and Vasa, Queen of the Merman, stuff like that. There's like 36 things here. There's a great, I think it's about a 30 minute retrospective on Aquaman series and comics, and seriously recommended. This was my favorite. I'm a Supes fan. I'm a Superman fan, and yeah, I'm gonna go see Man of Steel. And I'm gonna hope that it's way better than Superman Returns. Although Brandon Routh was eerily like Christopher Reeves, the script just wasn't where it should have been. This is hands down the best of the early Superman series before the 90s one came in. The 2000s. Huh, 2000s. But. This one here, the Ruby Spear Superman series. And this was done, I think, in maybe about 88 or 89. Now, the coolest thing about this actually isn't the main episodes. Though there's some fun stuff there. Luther, for the first time, is being shown, not like the 
crazy scientist or the guy wearing the purple and green outfit. Uh, but he's actually shown as the uh, businessman, the cunning evil businessman. They become, in the comics, uh, it was becoming around the whole Wall Street time, so Luther's character changed, and the cartoon series actually reflected that. Uh, we got to see a few of the uh, different villains in here. There are some great episodes in, on this thing, but the coolest thing was a little short thing that would be at the end of every episode called Superman Family Album. And basically, if you go through each one of these episodes, it goes from like Super Baby to Super Boy to Teenage Superman, Teenage Clark, right on up. And it's like little snapshot glimpses into like his life. It's really cool. It's really well done. And I wish more series would have done this. Uh, I gotta say, I loved, loved this series. Uh, not every episode is a, is a home run most of them are extremely fun, but uh, every Superman Family album thing on here is definitely worth watch. And the Special Feature Corp Corporation of the Corrupt, the Rise of LexCorp, talking about LexCorp finally coming into the series and Lex Luthor being the, the corporate villain that he would become, it's amazing. Right now for me, it's time for bed and maybe a little bit of tea. Thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed these animated box set reviews and that you'll grab some and show them to your kids. Thanks a lot. Have a great night.